Alright, welcome back. Last time we got the boomerang sword, which is probably one of the coolest weapons in the history of weapons, right? And this time we are fighting Frankenstein. Or I should say the creature. Yeah, this guy fucking always kicks my ass. Salt should be good, right? Because he likes to stay in place. Here, run over the salt. Yeah, so I thought... Instead of salt, these are like little spike strips, right? It's nice that the salt has a fucking use. Because I like the salt weapon, I just don't... Shit. I just don't see too many uses for it. It's really good if they stand there and they just absorb it, you know? At least I think it's salt. I just assumed it's salt. I've always just assumed that. No one's corrected me yet, but I've only put up one video so far of the series. I'm just kind of playing through this. So instead of health increases and stuff, you start getting just these treasures. That's going to be a good one. And hit a little bit harder. Let me go through this room. Potion. Alright. So we're going to have to go through the freaking spike room at some point. Oh, the salt too strong. Ow. Bouncing bones. I'm also waiting on the newest episode of JoJo's to be released on Crunchyroll. That was weird. I didn't like that. Or, I shouldn't say I didn't like that show. I didn't know about that show for the longest time. These things hit kind of hard for area. If I remember... Correctly. 14? Yeah. It's not too bad, actually. Here we go. The sword's actually pretty good. I was really surprised. So, okay, I do some pretty good damage. I throw it, you know, it does good damage. But, you know, what my concern was is that I can't really spam it, you know? These guys don't really hurt you unless you get hit by the body. So that's something to remember. You don't need to, like, panic jump. These guys. I just want to get knocked out of the... What is it? Salt? Salt help me? Oh my gosh. It would have actually hit him, too. Oh, I hate these things. These things are so annoying. But yeah, like, what this thing... I mean, it's really obvious. What this thing makes up for... Relax and spamability, you know, close range DPS, you can just throw the fucking thing. It's pretty good. See, look at that. Giving you a library card in case you want to port in here and start selling shit, which we'll do at some point. We don't need to yet. Yeah, I always, I shouldn't say I always knew about JoJo's, but I heard about JoJo's for a long time. Or JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, you know, manga, anime, all that. And I've known about it, but I never really put time into it. You know, I never said, oh, I'm going to watch that, or that looks cool. You know, I just, I never looked it up, never, you know, never researched it, nothing like that. And then, one of my favorite streamer, YouTube people, Color Ninja, he, he made a meme video about it. That's basically all it took. He had a video where he did the To Be Continued meme, which is from that show. And I thought it was kind of funny. I didn't know what the fuck the meme was. It was just him. Like, the video is him falling into shit and screaming. And he does the to be continued as he's falling, because from the show, they always. Shit, I shouldn't jump there. From the show, every time someone, uh. Damn. You're gonna hit my salt one day. That's gonna be. Thank you, Ramen. But yeah. The meme is that each episode, or whatever, kind of ends where something, something's about to happen, and then it, like, freeze frames and 2B continues, you know, and starts playing Roundabout, which, that meme and that show got me to like that song. I listen to it quite a bit now. I mean, I have been. 
just because it's you know new to me. Whenever I have new music, I play it until basically until I get bored of it. So kind of spam it. But yeah, when I saw that video, I was like, "What the fuck is this meme?" And I saw someone in the comments on the video was like, "Oh, JoJo's or something." And I went, okay, let's let's look at what this is. And I've always remembered. Cause I've never seen pictures and stuff of it. It's always been Jotaro, and he's a uh, he's not like the first character. So they like JoJo is a nickname they give to each protagonist because it's kind of like it's a family, it's a generational thing. And so each generation it starts off with a new JoJo basically. And Jotaro was the the third one. But then when I started watching the show, you start off with Jonathan, and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? I didn't, I didn't recognize him, so I was really confused. I went, alright, I'll watch it. And then the first part's really short. It's like nine episodes or something. And I watched through that, and it was pretty interesting. And then it went to a new guy, and they start calling him JoJo, and I went, okay, this is how they do it. They switch it. Every time, you know, the new arc is a, a new character, like a new main character. And so ever since then, I've been really enjoying the show. I don't think it's a manga I want to read. Just because, I don't know, the animation's been pretty good. So far, so I don't, I guess I don't think I'm going to start reading that. We don't really need these potions. And they'll be helpful, but... Like, they're not required to beat the game. Oh, there's a... Okay, why didn't you guys tell me that? I didn't see that there was a... What is it? I think it's gonna come over the side. There it is. I didn't see that there was a second door coming out through here. Woo! Wait. Okay, through the save point. There we go. We'll save again. Yeah, I'm waiting on that to upload right now. Crunchyroll airs it at like 9:30 on Fridays. It's about 8:30 right now. Probably a little later. I'm gonna watch that and then I'm gonna start doing my homework. I should be pretty awake by then. I don't know what it is. I don't like to do homework when I'm super tired because I just go really slow and I make mistakes. So I want to make sure that I'm awake. This guy's very annoying. Oh my gosh. Salted pretty good there though. But these guys will hit you for stupid amounts of damage. With that axe. But they don't take a lot to kill, thankfully. It's actually not bad with the fucking heaven sword. Because it's been... Oh my gosh, my phone I should turn off. Oh, let's not do that, right? I actually have a better setup this time, because usually I use the... daggers. And the daggers aren't super good against these guys. And I don't have the salt... Oh, yeah, I, I use the dagger and like close range weapons a lot and so what ends up happening is I get the shit beat out of me basically but now I have a lot of range capability so it's actually pretty good I like that I'm trying new stuff to work out yeah I started watching JoJo's and I got my friend Perry into it cause he said he tried to watch it once a while ago he said he couldn't really get into it and then I kinda said hey it's really good it's really funny, because I was enjoying it a lot. And so, he started getting into it. And now we both like the show. It's been pretty awesome. I was more upset about what they did with fucking Naruto. Like, Naruto's supposed to be ending. Oh shit, I think he actually jumps up here. No, he doesn't. Okay. But Naruto's supposed to be ending. And you notice too, we're not getting... I mean, we're close to a level, but look how many guys we killed, right? In between levels. It's not... Like, uh, those Nova Skeletons where you just get a ton of XP for no reason. Ooh, got him. Okay, just let me poke you. Gotcha. Ooh. Yeah, Naruto went on, like, this giant filler fucking escapade again as the series got closer to completion because they were just trying to milk the anime. And then 
they got off the fillers, which is nice, which means they stopped, you know, making bullshit stories like Goku and Piccolo get a driver's license. Actually, I don't know if that was in the Dragon Ball manga, I never read it. Look at that guy's ultimate attack. Fucking... Can I... Can I hit you? Hi, man. How did I miss that? There we go. I mean, I could've just, like, misted past him and just threw the sword, but I didn't want to. But yeah, Naruto's finally, finally going to fucking end as an anime. I already read it. I wanted to see it in glorious animation, and they're doing the last episode, at least part of it, in black and white, like it's the comic. Which, I think I talked about before, like, I, I see the, the artistic aspect and why you'd want to do that. But I want to see that shit in glorious, colorful animation. <laughs> so it's kind of sad. And they... I don't think... Is that a sellable one? I can't remember. Power of Cross, okay. So no, that thing will be useful at some point though. This is actually pretty good, I should probably be using that instead. It's like the most amazing, but it is... It is pretty nice. So, you know, that lets us use powers and shit faster. Where's the boss? Is there just no boss this time? Pretty sure this was the boss room down here. Or it's supposed to be. Yeah, this was the boss room. There's no boss this time. Okay. But Naruto took a fucking week off. Because, like, last week was the... You know, they were wrapping it up, and they were like, The final battle! in the next video. And then, lo and behold, Thursday is supposed to come out and they're sucking nothing. So it's pretty annoying. They're just really, really, really milking it. That's alright. So it looks like we do have to go through. And we can go back to the middle. that take a little bit to get there, so let's just go through the part I hate. Just deal with it now. I'm gonna take a drink real quick. There we go. I should try and find time to edit a video today too, just to put it up. I should do one today and one tomorrow in terms of uh, editing. Just because I haven't been as on top of editing with the, uh, the last week. This week has just been really fucking tough though. I mean, I've had so much... I don't know, I just, I feel like I've had a lot, because chemistry's starting to get harder, finally. Which, you know, I expected. Because, you know, start of the year, everything's kind of easy. Math has just been hard. You know, I don't have any other way to put it. The stuff I'm doing in math has just been really challenging right now. And it's starting to get easier, because you're... You know, you keep doing all these really hard things, so you start getting better at it, but... The, uh... The hard part of what you're doing right now is you learn so many ways to solve problems that you're doing, so you know, you're doing integrals. You learn so many different ways to do it, and that's good because before there were things that we couldn't do, like if you had multiplication in an integral, like how do you solve that, and then you learn by parts and then uh, with trigonometry and all that. And then even, there's even a section, which I thought was pretty funny, there's a section in our book that says doing integration with a table, or whatever. And so, what was it, in class yesterday we just, we solved a couple using this giant list of like a hundred and something different formulas. And all you do is you look at the problem, and then you just look at the formulas and try and see which formula you're supposed to use. But what's really nice about it is the little formula sheet spits out an answer. Like, it boils it down so hard to where you just have to put in two things, basically. You know, like, it'll, it'll have a bunch of U's and A's and, you know, all this other math going on. You just say, okay, U is this, A is this, and then I'm done. That's been really nice. But, I mean, they can still be challenging because you sometimes have to simplify them. 
to figure out which formula you're supposed to use. So that's kind of where the challenge comes in. That's what we were talking about in uh, in class on what is it on a uh, Thursday. I didn't go to class Wednesday because I was just exhausted. And so I stayed home and I did homework that day. That was part of it. But I was very tactical in how I did it. I looked at a... What you call it? I looked at... I'm going to go to the save point. That's why I was kind of paused and I saw it on the map and I went, do I want to save here? To make sure I can... You know, not have to worry about the shit that I'm doing. And the answer is resoundingly yes, because I'm probably going to die coming through here. At least until I find another save point. We see, like, our life went from, like, 3.30 or something at the start of the last video to 3.80 or whatever, because we're just leveling a bit. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But yeah, we had a... Damn, we're really far from a level. Yeah, I looked at my my book before I went to class on Wednesday just to see what uh, what we were doing. And the section we were doing was just strategies of using all the formulas that we were using. So it's kind of like, okay, you learn a bunch of different ways to do this shit. So now, how do we know which to use and when to use it? And I went, okay, I'll probably just read the section. You know, I don't want to go into class, because my teacher, I have a good teacher, but just knowing her, you know, now that we've been going to class for several, uh, god, these things are annoying, soon you're going to have the, the girls popping out, and the girl ones are really hard, but yeah, just from knowing what my teacher is like, and what the lesson was, I went, she's not, I, I don't feel she's going to teach this really effectively. So I was like, okay, I'll just read the the section. So I just I stayed home and I just started doing my homework and I actually got through a decent chunk of it and I understood it, so I was really I was happy about that. Because you know, whenever whenever you do math, you know, and you do the homework and you just kinda understand it, that's always a it's always a really good feeling. Especially when it's some challenging stuff. Probably should have ducked there. Like the first time, I mean, not the second time, obviously. Ooh, he tried to Try to test my reflexes. Usually my reflexes aren't that good, but sometimes, man, sometimes my reflexes are still there. Oh shit, oh, I stood on it. I really don't want to get, I'm going to get hit by one eventually, that's why I'm not going to show it. But they're down there, you can't really see them at first, it's almost like, I don't want to say you have to get hit by them, but it is better if you know that they're there, but sometimes you just fall on them. Like I did, and that's how you kind of learn of their existence. Was that not one there? I thought there was. Yeah, it's not too bad right now. There aren't a lot of them, but it gets worse. I promise you this. So we're probably going to go, shit. I'm just gonna, yep, they're there. I'm just going to show them off. I said it at the start of the series when I was talking about the inverted castle. I said this is the room where you just fly around and fucking misform the whole time. Because fuck this. Meal ticket. I never knew what these were for. I never actually... What the... I never actually thought and tried to use these. I know I have them. Mystery food ticket. Oops. Did I just... I thought I threw them away. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. Oh, do you just... Just pick it up? Ah. Right. I probably just wasted everything. No, see, it's there. Got my grape juice and all that. Alright. Cool, never mind. Oh, it looks like I still have my hammer. So I guess the hammer's infinite. I was hoping so, because you only find one in the game. So I was really surprised. Okay, so how are we doing? Getting to the right. Yes, yeah, so I didn't go to class Wednesday. Stayed home, did some homework, got a head start, because I have four sections 
do this weekend, but I'm glad that a couple of them are easy. And then 7.5 or whatever. The uh, I really want to kill the Nova Skeleton for the, the XP. I don't think that's right. But yeah, 7.5 is just using various strategies. So it won't be anything new, it's just kind of like a, a nice big practice set. So I'm not too worried about that either. It really depends how many there are. But I'm going to... Yes, I'm going to do this video. Might do one more, I'm not sure yet. Depends how I'm feeling. I'm going to watch my, my anime episode. And then I will... I don't want to... Do I want to go this way? Let's get the save point. Let's get a save point and then we'll go back. I usually... I don't want the save point for... the checkpoint not dying purpose. I want the save point just to... have on the map. This way... This is kind of my mental marker. Like, I... When I see the red block, obviously, because it stands out, I go, Okay, I got here, I saved, and I went back. That's what I did. So that's kind of my strategy there. Yeah, so I'll enjoy my morning a little bit, wake up, and then I'll have about four hours to do math. I should get through like one and a half sections in that four hours, and that'll be really good. And then I'll, because I, like I said, I have four this weekend, or by Monday, they're all due, and it's online homework, so I'll do, uh, I'll do about one and a half today, and then I'll, ooh, there's reflex right there, and then I'll, uh, what is it, on Saturday I'll probably do, try and do like another one and a half, and I'll have three done, and then Sunday I can just do uh, the last one, which, I don't know what order I'm going to go in, because if I, if I do it that way, the last one's going to be the one where I use the tables, and that might be, that might be easy. I'm not sure how easy that's going to be, because we had a, we only did five examples in class or something like that. So, I don't think there's one here. Yeah. Okay, these guys. If you look here, make your critical. 15. You don't hit them that hard, right? They hit really fucking hard. The salt does okay. But what you're supposed to do... Just do this. Like, it just does a lot of damage for some reason. Like, okay. So let's look at our total XP. We're at 75,000. I don't want this guy. This guy's worthless. You're worth, like, no XP. Still 75,000. You're worth 1 XP at this point. Let's hit this guy a couple times. He gets to the point where you can two shot these. Alright, so we're 75, 79,000. They're worth 4,000 each. It's so dumb. So if you really wanted to, I got to, like I said, my save file was at level 61. I just sat here and killed these guys for a little bit. Or you can do that. Like, I killed a couple, said, okay, this is really busted. And then I went through the rest of the game, came back right before I was going to fight Dracula. I said, alright, let's level up a little bit. And did that. That's the Coliseum. I don't quite want that yet. Then I don't know what officially opens this. You know, at some point you come through here, you kill all the bosses or whatever, and I guess that opens. I should have grabbed a clock at some point. Actually, no, the clock's in here, right? Alright. That'll let us go on the other side, too, because it's only, like, one item, I think. I'm going to keep this just because I'm going to... When I say this, I mean, I'm going to keep the, uh, the moon rod for a little bit because I'm going to was I'm going to kill one more of those guys or something. Okay, see, look it. We've only gotten one life up since our last level up or whatever, and we went from 388 to 403. So there you go. So let's go and kill... Not kill. Let's go pop this side, because I think it's just an item. And then we'll get one of our items back. So the salt's actually been doing pretty good. So I don't know if we want... I mean, the clock's still pretty good, too, so I don't know which one we officially 
want to use as a sub weapon. We don't want the cross. Just because, I mean, the cross is really good. The cross will fucking, like, two-shot these bosses. It'll two-shot a lot of them. But I don't want the cross yet. I don't like to use the cross because it takes, like, a hundred fucking hearts. Alright, what have we not used that I know isn't completely trash? I didn't get enough use out of the holy water, I feel like. So I was really enjoying it. The salt did pretty good. For a little bit. But let's... No, let's leave the, uh... Let's leave our... Moon Rod on for a sec. Probably gonna save and quit the next point, or whatever. When you start wrapping up. Oh wait, is this open? Thank you. Are we on the one minute? I don't know. I don't know if it's the odd minute or the even minute, I always forget. It's probably the even minute, honestly. And then... Yeah. So I'm probably gonna... I guess I might do one more video. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Then I'll watch my anime. I'll make some breakfast. And then I'll do homework until I have to go to work. And then I'll bring some chemistry homework, because my chemistry homework's in paper. So I'll bring that to work, and I'll have all that done. Because, you know, when work is slow as fuck, I get like... I only work three hours. Today. Or whatever. Fuck you, guy. Oh, shit. That's the thing I was mostly afraid of. I didn't want to get knocked out. Because when you do some good damage, and then... What is it? Get knocked out of the room? It's really annoying. Right? So let's... Where? Wow, this thing's... I think I use this until I got like the Alucard sword. When I don't use the moon rod. Because look at this, this thing swings really fast. It's probably got that lingering hitbox where you hit twice. So I don't know. Anyway, we're done for now. Cause I realize if I'm gonna record another video, I don't need to find a save point, right? It's just it's helpful too. So next time. I said there were gonna be a couple bosses in this video, and I think I lied to you. I think we only fought None. Might have fought one. We might have fight, fought Frankenstein or whatever. The creature. Was that in this one or the last one? I don't remember. Anyway, next time, probably a boss. Probably two bosses, because there are a couple around here. I just had to freaking find them. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.